In this part one video, I will give you 10 concrete examples of why communication is important in your personal lives. Hi everyone. If it's your first time clicking on one of my videos, welcome. My name is Nilufar and I make videos that help us become better communicators. Communication is the process of expression through verbal, nonverbal, and other ways. Now, we are communicating all the time be it verbally in person or in writing, non-verbally in our silences, in our absences, in the way we present ourselves, in our voice, in our comportment, and in every other way, we're always communicating. Learning how to think, how to be clear with ourselves and with other people is what this channel is about. This is the first part of a two-part video to show you the practical benefits of having good communication skills. The word communication is bandied around a lot. There are majors in communications. There are whole communications departments at companies. There are leadership and executive workshops in communication. And communication is a repeated word in personal relationships. There are also many, many benefits to excellent communication skills in our professional settings, be it with our peers, with our bosses, the people that we manage, the storytelling of the company, how it positions itself, and the stories it tells its clients. Excellent communication skills lead to the writing of your favorite TV shows and films. We've all seen instances where the writing goes bad, as in the season finale of some shows that we used to love, creating an excellent narrative arc that holds your attention, to then selling the final product, writing press releases with efficient information for the reviewers and for audiences, to the marketing of the film. All of this falls under the category of communication. Our lives depend on proper communication between patients and medical staff, also in other fields, such as the legal field. If you're a trial lawyer, learning how to craft your argument properly and then to present in person, all of this requires proper written and oral communication skills. These are just a few examples of why communication skills are integral to every part of our personal and professional lives and success. I've learned these lessons the hard way by personal experience and also by observing and studying others who are excellent at communication, whether it was a natural gift for them or they sought coaching to develop their communication skills. Number one, getting your point across. Simple as that. To be able to get your point across clearly and concisely you need to know how to use language, whether it's in writing or in the way that you speak. Number two is about building trust. Clear and open communication builds a safe space for the parties to be able to get their points across to each other. Building trust over time leads to better relationships. Number three, conflict resolution. All relationships go through conflict. It's good nuanced communication that helps you express your thoughts and feelings and needs to the other person and help them to do the same with you in order to clear the misunderstanding and hopefully lead to the resolution of a conflict. A good place to start with that is to avoid using the accusatory you statements and instead adopt the use of I statements. I feel as if X, Y, and Z. Number four, Another hallmark of the benefits of good communication is understanding each other's needs. No one can read our minds and we can't read other people's minds. So if we don't communicate what we think, feel, and want, other people are not going to know. You don't want to leave everything to guesswork, right? So in order to create understanding, you first have to understand what you think and feel and want and then be able to relay that to other people. Number five, enhancing intimacy. Communication creates emotional closeness, which is important to build trust and relationships. Number six is seduction, which is basically persuasion. Getting people to be attracted to us, both personally and romantically, through showing charisma is one of the benefits of proper communication. 
Number seven is shared decision making. This goes back to the fact that people can't read our minds and we can't read other people's minds. For example, if you're planning a road trip, make it known that you would like to hike or swim during the road trip. Otherwise, it won't be planned for and there will be a misunderstanding and hurt feelings. So make sure that first you know what you want and second that you communicate that to other people and let them do the same with you. Number eight is parent-child relationships. It's important to build healthy boundaries with each other. Number nine is helping others. It's simply important to know what others need if you are trying to help them. We may have in our own minds an idea of what the person might need, but it's important to find out what they need so that we can provide to them what they need if we're trying to help them. And number 10 is building social circles. This is basically about building one friend at a time and adding them together to expand our social network. Here are two practical tips in this category. When you're introducing to people, go beyond just introducing, saying X, this is Y, Y, this is X. Add something to that. Say, you both speak Mandarin. You both went to this school, etc., etc. And the second tip is be interested in other people and ask them questions and let them speak and avoid inserting yourself right in the middle of their stories. I see this happen all the time. I'm guilty of it myself. So ask people questions, be interested in them and really listen to what they say. Again, the two tips in this category are ask questions from people and listen to them. And when you're introducing others together, go beyond just mentioning their names say something beyond that to act as a glue for them. Stay there, keep facilitating that new connection between them and remove yourself from it because you happen to know both those people. So in this way, you can keep building on friendships and your social relationships. Well, this is it for the first part of a two-part video on the benefits of communication skills. This one was about its benefits in our personal lives. Try the tips that I've mentioned and let me know how they work for you. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button so that you can get the future videos that I make for you. Check out my previous videos and stay tuned for the second part of this video about the benefits of excellent communication skills in our professional lives. Until the next time.